Alrighty then. Welcome one and all. Love them knives. We talk a lot about budget knives. And this one looks like Migoron, doesn't it? It looks like a... Hold on. I, I thought I had a Migoron knife around here somewhere. Where is there one? It does look a lot like it, doesn't it? The logo? There's my Migoron Centurion in G10. Okay. But this one... This one's only 40 something dollars. This is half of that. Okay, so you think 40 something dollars is inexpensive? This is half of that. It's like 21 something freaking dollars. 22, 20, what is it? 22, 23, 21, $21.24. Okay. Oh my God. It's the N06, of course. It's a smaller knife. It's like three and a seven, three inch blade, seven inch overall. No, it's not an S90V. It's a D2 blade. Okay. And here's kind of your little poke around. This is not the overall length, though. I think maybe I got that mixed up with something else. Hold on. Let me let me double double check. I kept thinking this was closer to three even. Yeah, it is. It's three, and I probably got my page mixed up. And seven. Okay, so it's a three and a seven, which whatever millimeters that ends up being. Uh, like 76 or something like that. Yeah, 75. Although down here, I mean, you could argue three and a quarter. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and cutting edge is over three, actually. It's just this bolster jags up and out you know and so it makes the blade measure shorter up in here but yeah um you know about 18 centimeters overall length now this is the 06 and i got the box turned upside down and everything but i have an earlier video that i did on the night wolf 05 because i got both at the same time and i thought okay this is cool this kind of flat grind leaf shape thing and this is a bigger knife okay so these are both and other models available, I'll give you the link below, okay? Interesting. Don't know where they're going to go with that. Remember Free Wolf, Free Tiger, Free Tiger? I can't remember brands, different brands, right? And then you got the SRM knives, you got all kinds of stuff, right, out there. Uh, much less, like I was just showed you the... Uh, Megaron knives, when they do their budget knives, they're very inexpensive. And of course, petrified fish, etc., etc. Now, these are super inexpensive, super duper inexpensive. So, yeah, they're they're really inexpensive for now. And God only knows. Uh, they're way less than honey badger knives. And even that that 05 I just showed you, the N05. What's that? Right here. Uh, that's only $23.79. Night Wolf. Okay, so I just thought they were intriguing because they're so inexpensive. Um, and they have bearings in them, all that kind of thing, but not ceramic. Because I did a disassembly of the other one already, so I know it's not ceramic bearings. But a little 3 and a 5, very lightweight, G10. It's got some grippy, right? Um, uh, the ergos are fine. You got this kind of front little finger choil area and that. A little cutaway here for sharpening d2 blade i'll probably send one of these in on my next batch for testing first of all confirm it's d2 and second of all get a rock well as long as i have an available space to hit it and this one would have to be the one tested because the other one's kind of doesn't really have a flat spot no it's a, just a continual and you can't take a rock well on a on a slope, you know, well, unless you could get in here. So I'll, I'll figure on it before I send it in. But here they are. And yeah, this one did I, yeah. It's, it's bigger. Although this isn't even a full eight inches. Okay. But it's really pretty much a full size EDC. But easy to disengage. Nice little drop. Not, not bad. Um, drag around beater. Um, liner lock, nested liners, okay? Even though they're skeletonized a little bit up here, especially on the top, you can see that. We'll take this one apart. I mean, we took the other one apart. We might as well take this one apart for this. 
deep carry pocket clip, but right hand only. Okay, so no lefty loo, huh? And I mean, if you want to get fussy, uh, it would have been nice to have tapered screws because those are taking up some of the room, aren't they? Up here, uh, you know, when you slide it in your pocket, it's going to, you know, this is going to hit the lip too, right? But I like the pocket clip design. It's good and it's springy. It'll hold. Um, it's, it's a decent clip. A uh, little backspacer action happening around here. And then you got a place for your lanyard. Nothing wrong there. Um, is it sharp out of the box? I tested the other one. It felt pretty good. And this one does too. Got to touch the paper first though. Um, yeah. Okay. So, you know, and what I found intriguing was that you can just throw everything on the floor. Did you see the little, the little thing that came out of there? Here, here. It's this. You get this. And I don't know. It's like you could hang this or something, but it's not an air freshener. And I thought that was kind of interesting. I mean, graphics are cool. Um, here's your microfiber cloth. Okay. I mean, the, I mean, I'm talking a $21 knife, okay? I mean, that's. I just thought it was interesting that they did that. And then a little plastic that the knife comes in is down in here somewhere. You can drag this out, okay? So you got the plastic, blah, blah, blah. But it comes in a drawstring pouch, okay, as well with graphics on it. You know, microfiber cloth, a little, you know, cardboard coin thing, whatever. So that... I don't know. Uh, why? I don't know. Do they need to? Probably not. Um, and the box is decent quality. You know, it's not shabby and garbagey or anything. So, I mean, uh, where are they going with this? I don't know. But I think it's uh, somewhat intriguing uh, to maybe keep up on where they may go. I mean, are they going to be a flash in the pan here and gone? Are they going to expand their line and keep going? And be another Vostied or, or Petrified Fish or, you know, Free Wolf or SRM or whatever. You know, there's a bunch of different knives. Travissa's out there now. Uh, you can see them on Amazon. There's SRM and, uh, no, I mean, Sativian as well is another. So, okay, we'll see. But, I mean, this is nice, this machine. And, oh, well, it... Took me about 800 years, but RIHE design. So, I mean, RIHE's got their own line of knives that they are making, okay? Because his, his designs are pretty popular, and he's done a lot of designs for Tucson knives as well, and others, okay? But now he's doing his own. So this is one he did collaboratively for Nightwolf, okay? So, you know, I think that's a draw because I know some guys that I DM back and forth with on Instagram that like RIHE designs. Okay, so there you go. Um, and I'll put the link to RIHE, his Instagram account, and you can look through the pictures of the different knives he's designed. You may be surprised, right? What you've run across and didn't realize was his design. So here's this, you know, both these knives that I just showed you, this is the N06, but the N05, also an RIHE design. So that should have been like in the first minute when I started, you know, Jack, Jack John, but I didn't, sorry. But, you know, it's comfortable enough. It's enough that I can get all my fingers on it. Where it hits you finger-wise, well, this kind of hits me right there, but is that a big deal? No, not right now. If I was doing repetitive cutting for a long period of time, would that get old? Maybe. I don't know. I see this as a light duty user that you can just like cut boxes open or cut down boxes that you've used or that kind of thing. So nothing really heavy uh, task wise on this. And come to think of it, throw this out there. Speaking of heavier light, and it is fairly light, right? It's way under 100 grams. It's 77.6 grams. So if we roll it back around to ounces, it's 2.74 ounces, okay? It, it's very, very lightweight. Now, what is it as far as 
fat fatty goes. Is it how fat is it? Well, it's 0.51, so it's actually fatter than like a spider co. Come here. Paramilitary, my maximum one that I'm trying to get rusted out because I live in Florida. Um, but so it it's actually thicker than that, right? Because it's like a 45, right? Four or five, right? This is a this is a five one. So actually it's thicker. Um, but the blade stock, I'll bet you, is thinner. Uh, because I think the spider co is uh it's 3.6 or so, 3.5. This is a 0.11, so it's a 3 millimeter. Yeah, 3 millimeter blade stock where good old gray boy here is 3.6. So, okay. Get out of here. See, I'm trying to rust it up. I need to, I need to, you can't feel it though, so it's not pitted. So, I need to dress that out because I don't want it to get that way. Okay. Um, but yeah, so as far as beater, I mean, you know the Ganzo knives that I've done reviews on. And Ganzo really just hasn't hit the scenes with anything really all that, all that, you know, whatever. Recently, I'm kind of surprised. But this is in that price range. So that's pretty damn competitive, especially if you want something that's not cheapy, cheesy gas stationy, you know what I mean? Like some of the master cutlery crap, M tech and stuff like that. They're more focused on trying to be fantasy knife cool for 12 year olds than they are of just give me um, a user steel and let it uh, operate cleanly without, you know, um, assisted opening and weird stuff and whatever. I don't need a seat belt cutter and a, you know, glass breaker and stuff. I need a pocket knife. So there. Okay. So it's pretty straightforward here in that regard. Um, that's how I like it. It's okay. And um, I like this one better. Um, this one has a smoother drop. So if you're looking to get one of them just to try it out, get this N05. This would be the one I would prefer uh over this one but uh, this may appeal to you more and this is lighter this is smaller okay so um yeah either way you're fine uh you're getting the same materials it's just a different design but this one i don't know maybe it's just this particular knife but it's really got a nice smooth drop and i like this contour g10 really feels good in the hand um this one really feels pretty nice i mean i'd put it in the category of uh honey badger or maybe better really to tell you the truth i mean this seems like the early civivi praxis type stuff you know what i'm saying at least to me it does so this one here yeah this is nice okay all right so the end zero six okay and uh like i said put the link down below let's take it apart kpl time right kpl time and grab this dog for the uh number eight on the pivot and will it unscrew Woo, easy not a problem okay they didn't junk it up sometimes the cheap knives like they slam the thread locker on there and you have all kinds of grief and craziness and you know what that looks like a captured pivot as well well you know what i think it is and the other one was right because of this logo they got here okay get out of here is this oh shit yeah that's right now i and now i remember the o5 the zero five was like this too it has number eight body screws i mean i mean 21 dollars okay 21 dollars in some odd sense and it's got number eight body screws. Uh, but of course, the shoot, you know what? Never mind. So is the pocket clip. Wow, I slept since I did the NW or the N05. So, I mean, you need one size. You need an eight. That's it. You got it, right? So there's your screws for the pocket clip. Is one bigger than the other? No. 
So there's that. Pocket clips off. Uh, and, ooh, and you got an X3 X3 out here. And the reason you do is you got something coming through this little standoff area. So the pocket clip screws are the same size because they both just go into the liner and that's it. And that looks the same length though. Okay. Um, kick it. Kick it. Okay, so here's the actual, and you can see, of course, you've got a nested liner that's in here. This is just a little piece coming across, locating. And, uh, okay, there's your liner. Skeletonized here, but not here. And that's a ceramic detent ball, brother man. So there's that, and but no ceramic bearings, just like its brother over there. And see if I can dump this out. On the carpet or somewhere else and here's the other one down here and that's strange so we had this actually turned around did you see that what the hell was that about it shouldn't be that way it should be the other way the bearing should be up against the knife there's your stop it's not too robust but it's a little you know 2.8 ounce knife so it's not a uh, kind of heavy use banger anyhow and i was going to pull this out okay so we got captured pivot here okay right there and it comes in and it's yeah squared off right there there's a skeletonized liner there's your little backspacer number eight's all the way through pocket clip body screws pivot everything's number eight night wolf watch out man He's watching you. <laughs> okay, whatever. Dramatic graphics, shall we say. But hey, it's the brother-in-law of Migron. Look at the logos. What? So, okay, whatever. Um, God only knows. You never know. It's like, who manufactures that in China? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But I know if it feels good and hell, this is so inexpensive. Um, it's got carry it around, just bang it around, do whatever. I mean, but it'll use, you know, and it'll sharpen. And if you like the design and hell, you ain't spent no money. Okay. So you're broke. Okay. You're broke. You go, I still got Jones to buy a knife. There you go. Get you a knife right here. 21 bucks. The wife won't even notice. She won't even notice. And you'll still have something, you know, coming in the mail. You can look forward to. The N06 in D2, that's an R-I-H-E design. And that ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? Not nothing. Plus, check this out. Or get the O5. It is buttery smooth. And it is, too. It's really a surprisingly good drop. This is, you, you're going to like this, too. So, since I do like bigger knives, okay, um... This is my choice. But if I was into the smaller, definitely lighter. And if I wanted to carry something a lot lighter, then it would be this one. Check this one out because I measure and weigh and do all and disassemble this one as well. So Nightwolf, I don't know. But I know one thing. They seem like a pretty well-made knife for the, and especially for the price, even at the $45, $50 range. They're reasonable, okay? at twice the price they're asking so and perfect color for throwing in the dye pot make them green make them purple make them blue whatever you want just make it something right you could make it yours take care my friends we do we love them knives oh check out my website website we got budget knives we got expensive knives we got all kinds of stuff on the pre-owned they are also my, you know, so a lot less expensive than retail, okay? Free shipping, no tax, USA shipping. And stay sharp.